Hey folks, it's The Red, and welcome to the continuation of the Crash Bandicoot No Damage series, as we are now making the leap onto the Game Boy Advance for our next game. Developed by Vicarious Visions. Yes, the same Vicarious Visions that made the Insane Trilogy. Started out on the Game Boy Advance, but before we get to the title, already plot. On a mysterious space station orbiting high above the Earth, aboard the Totally Not Cortex Vortex. Inside the totally not warp room from Crash 3. <laughs> Cortex! Remind me why I keep you around. You have failed me one too many times! Yeah, there's no voice acting in this, so I guess I gotta do it myself. <laughs> Uka Uka, forgive me. I've been wasting all these years trying to vanquish that brainless bandicoot. He is of no importance to us. We want to take over the world. I've heard it all before, little scientist. What's so different this time? Trust me, Uka. I have a little plan to bring Earth's puny inhabitants down to size. And with that, we are now ready to begin Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure, released in 2002 for Game Boy Advance, otherwise known as Crash Bandicoot XS in Europe. So let's dive right into this with a new game. At last, my planetary minimizer is complete! Earthlings will bow to my superior intellect. Yeah, I find it kind of weird how they use screenshots from uh, Crash 2 and Crash 3 in this, and yet they also have some original screenshots like this one for the cutscenes. <laughs> and so, just as he says, he's shrunk down the Earth. Finally, after all these years of abuse, the tables have turned! Who's the little guy now? I, Neocortex, am your ruler! You will look up to me! Ha ha ha! And I guess this is just a city somewhere with a lot of people in it. Yeah, people, something we haven't seen a lot of in this series. <laughs> I have finally won! Now nothing can stop me, not even that little bandicoot! I could just crush him between my fingers, but I won't bother. Crash, Coco, the world needs your help. Cortex has shrunk our planet to the size of a grapefruit. We must stop him. Our story, ladies and gentlemen. It looks as if Cortex is using the crystals to power his shrinking machine. Crash, if you can find the proper crystals from around the world... I'm sorry, what? The proper crystals? How many different types of crystals are there in this world? Uh, I think I can build a device to reverse the effects. Good luck, Crash. You must find the crystals so we can put an end to Cortex's evil scheme. Remember when there was only supposed to be 25 crystals and one master crystal in this universe? When did crystals become so commonplace in this world? Oh well, gotta stick to traditions, I guess. And with that, we are now ready to begin the game proper. It pretty much takes us directly to the warp room, and from here we can choose any of the levels that we wish simply by moving Crash onto the proper button. None of that warp room running around stuff, so let's go ahead and jump straight into level 1, Jungle Jam, which really sounds like something I should be putting on toast. And no loading times, as you can see. We're pretty much just thrown straight into the game. The magic of cartridge gaming! So like with most first levels, this one gets us acquainted with the controls and concepts of the core game. Pretty much Crash operates exactly like he does in his Crash 2 moveset. You run, you jump, you slide, you spin, you do high jumps, you can crawl on your belly. All the stuff you can do in Crash 2. You, another thing you may have noticed is that this game plays entirely in 2D. It takes all the concepts from the Naughty Dog era and pretty much translate it into an entirely 2D game, which is fine by me because Crash games are very have a lot of 2D elements to them. We're also going to have a lot of bonus rooms in this, and unlike in the Naughty Dog games where it's pretty much just go into the bonus room, break all the boxes, and leave, most of these bonus rooms are set up in such a way that you need to pay attention to the way the boxes are laid out because if you wind up breaking a certain box in a certain way, or, if you break it too early, you might not be able to break all of them in the bonus room. This one probably isn't the best example of that, because it's a pretty simple one. In fact, there's not even anything in this particular bonus room that can kill you. Not even this little gap here that really looks like I should be falling through, but I don't. But yeah, that one is pretty basic. 
But a good example of what I'm talking about is actually right here. You need to bounce on this crate from above so that you don't wind up not being able to get to this box up here. If you break that, you won't be able to slide up here. But most of the bonus rooms later on will be able, will make use of things like that. So yeah, as you may have noticed, this level is very reminiscent to the jungle levels of Crash 2. And in fact, that's going to be a running theme with many of the levels in this game, is how much of a resemblance they have to their Naughty Dog counterparts. The only difference here is that it's all in 2D. The crystals are back, and we'll be sure to get all 20 of them, yes, 20, in the game. This is going to wind up being one of Crash's shorter adventures. And sure enough, we got all 42 boxes, so we also get the gem as well. And with that, we are done with Jungle Jam. Got all the goodies, and we are good to go. Uh, being the first level, there's not really a whole lot to share here, although we do actually have one outtake to look at. We'll check it out, and be sure to join us next time as we move on to level 2, Shipwrecked. See you then! It should be one fun ride. But there's not going to be too much that we're going to need to look out for in this game. Well, that's a clumsy way to start this playthrough.